All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Today is an even day. The word today is allege. It means making an accusation that's not proven. He alleged that his sister stole his sweater. Cheerleading has practice after school today. The boys late lifting have practice after school tomorrow. Film club meet after school tomorrow. The game club meets tomorrow. Test prep sessions are tomorrow. The junior class is sponsoring a pizza sale tomorrow after school. Two dollars for a slice of pizza. The Women's History Month show has been moved to April 17th. There will be no school on Friday. You've probably heard of bulletproof vests. They are made of a substance called Kevlar, which is five times stronger than steel. Kevlar was accidentally invented by a woman named Stephanie Kolek. She was a chemist, working for the DuPont company. She was trying to improve car tires by making them lighter and stronger, but ended up inventing Kevlar. People often claim that Superman's disguise of wearing glasses never worked in the real world. Henry Cavill, who played Superman in the recent movies, decided to test the theory when Man of Steel was released several years ago. He dressed like Clark Kent, complete with glasses, then went to Times Square, New York, and spent hours standing next to the Superman poster advertising the movie. You know, the poster of him as Superman? Nobody recognized him. Calvert County Animal Control got an unusual phone call from a driver. A bald eagle had swooped down in front of the car and been hit. Police responded to the call, and to their surprise, the eagle was stuck in the grill on the front of the car. The eagle's legs had been slipped into the slots, and they couldn't pull them out. The police followed Animal Control's directions to check the eagle for injuries. Somehow, there seemed to be none, even though the car had hit it. They got the eagle out and took it to an animal hospital. Sure enough, the bird was unharmed and it was released. We would like to wish happy birthday today to Kevin Simon and Samuel Noel. Thank you for tuning in, Hawks. Have an epic day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And that's a wrap.